Welcome back to NTV at One. In 2017, the private sector embarked on soliciting for an alternative funding for HIV under the One Dollar Initiative. The initiative requires that members of the private sector voluntarily contribute a minimum of one dollar per month towards funding for HIV prevention and treatment strategies. Two years down the road, members of the initiative are changing strategy to include fundraisers with the first one scheduled for this evening. But why the change in the strategy? We go back to that. We are joined by Professor Vingad Nantulia, the chairperson of the One Dollar Initiative, to throw more light on this further. Welcome to NTV at One, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Now, it's two years, I has, as I had mentioned, but two years down the road, some people do not even know about the One Dollar Initiative. So let's start from there. What is this initiative? Yes, the One Dollar Initiative is an innovative mechanism and the de decision by the private sector in Uganda to come forward and make a contribution towards the fight against HIV AIDS. As you may know, the, the, the fight against HIV AIDS is predominantly funded by our development partners and we are very grateful to them. The, the, uh, the, the money we receive from them is, uh, accounts for about 95% of the money, the total money that we use in the fight against HIV AIDS. If you look at the treatment programs, out of the $300 million we need per year to put our people in treatment, more than 95% comes from the donors. Uganda government puts in the balance. This is very good, but it's not enough. It's not enough because some of the priorities, especially in prevention, are not at all funded. It's not good enough because the donor uh, focus in helping us in the fight against HIV AIDS is changing because these donors have got other challenges that are coming up. And so we need, as Ugandans, to get up and mobilize our money so that we can support the government and those development partners that are remaining, because some of them have already withdrawn. Okay, now and that's, a, that's a serious concern. It is, but yes. the fact that we're trying to see with the $1 initiative that things change. When we talk about change in strategy, mm -hmm. what is this new strategy that has been brought on board? Now, the $1, the $1 initiative is an is a, uh, is a call to all Ugandans both at home and in the diaspora to bring forward to make donations to a common fund that fund is a trust fund the trustees are the Uganda manufacturers association and the Uganda Federation of employers now we need we need uh, Ugandans to put in whatever they can afford. We have called it a $1 initiative because we would like you to contribute at least $1, which is about 4,000 shillings, either per month or per year. But a little bit at a time can make us grow that fund into a serious fund that can respond to our national challenges of financing the following, the prevention programs, and the treatment programs so that because if we don't address both of them we are in trouble uh, you, the members will know that since the epidemic started we have lost nearly two million ugandans have died of, of hiv aids two million at the same time we have new infections every day the number today is about one thousand per week we need to stop that flow of new infections and we need to get these others that are on treatment, that, that are infected to go on treatment. But to date, out of the 1.3 million that need to go on treatment, we have only 1.1 million on treatment. So, Professor, for those that are actually watching NTV at 1 yeah. tonight, to this afternoon and are thinking, well, I've heard of this fundraising that's happening tonight, where is it going to be taking place and where can they be able to actually 
go ahead and put this because when you say the trust fund if i have maybe four thousand shillings do i send it via mobile money how do i make sure that this donation comes to the initiative the, the we have opened bank accounts at the centenary bank and at the uh at uh, 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 other banks you can put the money in the bank but we know that our 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 uh, our citizens some many of them will not have a ch uh, opportunity to go to the bank you can send the money through airtel or through mtn and we have opened specific codes in those two uh, entities and when you put in your money in there it is immediately transferred onto the bank account. Now, um, how are we going to raise this money? The first time we did it was to have a charity walk. And it was a fundraising uh, charity walk, which was organized last year. And it was uh, the chief worker was actually the US ambassador. We raised some money, but that the main purpose was not to raise the money. It was to start the process of raising awareness about the One Dollar Initiative. I am pretty aware that many people still don't know yet what the One Dollar Initiative is. I know that. And the reason is to, for us to roll out the, the, the communication strategy to reach everybody, that costs money. We didn't have the money yet. We are beginning to raise the money. And one of the biggest uh, startups is tonight when we host a, a dinner concert. It's a fundraising dinner concert for the corporate sector. And the corporate sector members have already committed. They have sponsored the tables. Some have already given us money to do this. And we are asking any one of you, all of you, please come to the dinner concert at Serena Hotel. It starts at 6 p.m. It's going to, it's going to be great. And, but it's not free. Yes, so they have to pay how much as we... So, an individual will pay 300,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. The corporate sector, we are telling them to sponsor a table. A table takes, takes 10 people, and that means 3 million. And we already have about 29 corporate sponsors for the tables. But please do come and uh, join us in this cause. Well, thank you so much. Professor, we have been joined by Professor Vinad Nantulia. He is the chairperson of the One Dollar Initiative. And if you have some money, 4,000 Uganda shillings, that can go to the fight against HIV and AIDS. Thank you so much for joining us on In NTV at One. If I can add something, that um, if you come and to the dinner and give us the 300,000 shillings, that's the, the money that can support one patient to go on treatment for one year. Well... It is a good cause, 300 Uganda shillings. Now, over